morning guys quick like seeing it <clears throat> happy good friday and happy easter to those that celebrate and happy weekend to those that don't today's video i'm going to title it maybe something like why i'm passionate about vabble um i'm going to sort of go into the inner workings what why i really really truly believe that vabble is a real hidden gem yeah uh and then we'll finish off with some um price ta if you want to call it that uh a bit on the axiom staking uh da, 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 maybe some news if i can remember and all the rest of it because most of you know i just do videos off the bat and if i bugger them up uh, or or whatever you know i'll just carry on with it yeah unedited yeah because that's the way i roll with it so vabble first of all this look at this right so i've paused it here it's, it's like maybe a 12 yeah look, 12 seconds long yeah and this is basically entering the amount of vabble this is on testnet at the moment and um, as you can see look 50,000 vabble staked yeah so the current stake would be 50,000 available balance which is obviously what's in the wallet this is on testnet at the moment we can't do this at the moment by the way this is sneak peek on on twitter or we're calling it doji twitter now or whatever um all right estimated 30 day reward 600 uh, vabble yeah and the pool share is 238 percent now bear this in mind obviously the 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 more that staked you know becomes less of a share but the more vabble you've got the more share rate you would have right so this is the beauty of staking now, what I like about Vabble staking mechanism is, look, you can just about see it at the side here, guys, yeah? So I'll read this bit out of you because you probably can't see this in my video. Film proposals. And it's got here, we have 12 film, and I can't read the rest. Uh, need your vote. And it obviously says something else. Uh, and receive your rewards. Da, 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 da. Right, so basically, the beauty of, of the, the Vabble staking is... Most staking platforms, you throw your stake in, you fire and forget. And you, you, I don't know, for about a year, you know, some investors come back after a year and think, all oh, right, what have I got? And all the rest of it, and no interaction. But with Vabble, you've actually, when you've staked, to earn your reward, you've actually got to participate. You've actually got to do your voting. Yeah, you've actually got to participate. So it's more of an interactive experience. You know, so what that does is that keeps investors coming back. Yeah. That keeps us on the ball, you know, keeping on checking it. A bit like with my Axion stakes, when I'm ladder staking, I'll check my Axion probably every couple of days, yeah, etc., etc. Um, but this this is beautiful, yeah. So um, I done a funny thing last night because I had a few beers last night. I asked James, the CEO, and I read this, you know, it makes a bit of sense, but um, I asked James. I don't think he would, yeah, but I asked him if he could DM me a couple of teasers that I could perhaps show you guys in the videos, um, but uh, I, I don't think he will because at the end of the day, I can see from a business point of view, they want to keep all this under wraps and not give too much away to any potential competition out there because that's what I would do, yeah, but this is looking really great, guys, but think of this now, right? Once people start staking, investors start staking, that's going to take Vabble off the table. Yeah, so we go to CoinGecko for a minute. You've got circulating supply of 1.183 billion. Yeah, so obviously, once you, you start staking, you know, this circulating supply theoretically should then come down. Hence, the price should go up. That is just through the staking mechanism part. Once the actual Vabble uh, user interface becomes available, yeah, once we can start playing around with this, once YouTubers start then seeing it, seeing the, the product out there. You're going to get YouTubers like Kif's token, KIFS uh, crypto, should I say, sorry. Look, 20,000 subscribers this guy's got, yeah? And he he done a piece on, on Vabble uh, about a year ago, yeah? And, you know, look, actually a streaming service, some really, really positive um, comments. Look, great video, eagerly awaiting the public sale now. So this, this was before the, uh, the sale of Vabble, right? So we all know at this moment in time now that, Vabble is a, a still of a price, yeah, because we're waiting for the, the product, uh, everything to be launched. But this is the time, uh, obviously, it's not financial advice, you've got to do your own due diligence, etc., etc., yeah. But this is the time where you should be loading up at the end of the day. Now, I won't go for all these comments now. You get the odd comment that says, Oh, but they don't show their faces, or, or the CEO, we don't know his full name. You, you do look, you can go on LinkedIn, yeah. The CEO, the founder of Vabble, is James O'Connor. Yeah, look, all his information is here. You know, he worked for Vodafone, team manager, sales represent, da 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 da. Right, you can go through all of this. Yeah. Oh, but we 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 you know we don't see his face. Look, he's on YouTube. He's there. That's James there. Yeah. That's his actual face. 
<laughs> he was in a, in, in a stream here. Yeah, so you can go back on this. So take the notice of what I call negative, um, negative views on uh, any product out there, any project out there. Yeah, you got to do your own research. Don't take it on face value just because one person say Texas, uh, you know, or, or, or puts a comment up saying, "Oh, but we can't see their face or whatever." Do your own research and then make your own mind up at the end of the day. Yeah. So at this moment in time, a hundred dollars gets you sixty-seven thousand odd Vabble. Yeah. Putting that in perspective, if Vabble went to ten cents, yeah, which in my humble opinion is easily doable. Yeah, easily doable. Yeah, probably a lot more, but I'm keeping it conservative. Your hundred dollars then would turn into six thousand odd dollars, six thousand seven hundred dollars, be precise. Yeah. So with the mechanisms, yeah, the 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 catalysts, you know, we're not on KuCoin yet, we're not on Binance yet. Yeah, you got to, you got to think out of the box, and you got to think longer term with a project like Vabel. Yeah, you got to think once it goes on Binance or once it goes on KuCoin. That is a pump of mental in the price itself, just on that alone, right? Once the staking comes out, once you have YouTubers like Kiffs. Now, there are other YouTubers. You've got Voscoin. Where's Voscoin? Voscoin is a huge, huge YouTuber. Yeah, so look. He's available to the next Netflix, but powered by cryptocurrency. 14,000 views he had. You know, this was over a year ago. So you, you're going to have all these YouTubers that are sitting on the sideline at the moment because, you know, a lot of YouTubers, and, and I understand why, especially like the big YouTubers, BitBoy, Altcoin Daily, stuff like that. You know, they've got their reputation, what they try to keep intact, yeah? So, they won't start promoting something like this, um, you know, uh, like Vabel, until, the, say, the, the project's out and they can see it's working and etc, uh, etc. Et but then by then, Vabel will be two, three times the price. So, if you want to wait for the bigger YouTubers to, to, to tell you how good this is, then wait till then, yeah? So, um, that is basically that. Vabel. Let's do our bit of analysis, yeah? So, the biggest wick down that we had, meaning the bottom, yeah? So, I just draw the line there. And then that got quickly eaten up. And then it's gone organic ever since then. And this was way back, when was that? This was 20, 22nd of December, right? So, since then, we have, we have organically gone up, in my opinion. So, I've just quickly drawn another line there because we wicked down a couple of times to this point here. And we've never come back to this. This is what you've got to look for. Yeah, this is simple trading for you guys. This is not all this uh, Fibonacci's and all the rest of it. This is just simple trading. We've wicked down to there a couple of times and we've not tested this again. We've gone above it. Then this line that I've put here, this was a bit of a support, bouncing off of this line quite a few times here. And then obviously when we went up above it, we stayed in that area for a bit there. But now look at it now. Now we, we're going up, yeah? So we wicked down again there, but now it's going up, yeah? So this is beautiful. In my opinion, I love seeing a chart like this. Yeah, love it. Yeah. So our next point would be roughly, yes, yeah, because we have um, wicked up. Yeah. You know, we're in the green here and here, and we passed it here. So this is three attempts past the the one seven four. Yeah. For, forget all this up here. Yeah. Look at the, the the picture that we're at at the moment. You know, for the last you know four or five months, something like that. Yeah. So now what we've got to do is get past this, stay above the, the one seven, and then this will be super bullish, right? In my personal opinion, as I said, not financial advice. So do your own research, absolutely fantastic. Can't wait till we can stake Babel, and then as soon as we can, uh, I will do videos on that, obviously, etc., uh, etc. Et Jumping onto Axion. Axion just does Axion at the end of the day. It goes up, it goes down. But you're earning your rewards, yeah. I've got $2.21 in wrapped Bitcoin at the moment, which I could withdraw, which is super duper dope. Yeah, um, one of the mistakes here. So I put this in 16th of March, and, and this is for like just over a month. Yeah, just one month stake I've done here. My progress on it is 62%. Yeah, um, so it's not even a month up yet, and I've earned $1.73 in interest. Yeah, 200, nearly quarter of a million Axiom. Yeah. To put that in perspective, if Axion, let's just say it 10x, you know, in the next few months, yeah, which Axion's done a hell of a lot more than that, 20, 30, 40, 50x, no problem, yeah. But just on a 10x, that'd be worth roughly $17 within a month, yeah. And obviously, I've got all these other ladder stakes down here. Look, this one's $5, this one's five and a half dollars. Now, bearing in mind, if Axion was double, double the price of what it is now, this would be worth $10, yeah. Uh, it's not just $5, you, you've got to obviously double it, yeah. 
So um, I've seen in Telegram before, what is the circulating supply, etc, etc. If you come over to the staking page, yeah, and I think this is fairly accurate, you can actually see here. Yeah, so total staked is over 250, nearly 260 billion staked Axia. Yeah, there's only 87 billion that is liquid. Yeah, or he's saying 88 billion. Yes, 88 billion there. So you can see here. So total supplier is 347 billion. Right. So when you have the likes of Shiba Inu that runs into the trillions, yeah, um, and you know the same as uh, Terra Luna Classic getting to one cent with Axion, total supply of only 347 billion. One cent is is definitely not off of the cards. Yeah. So um, we need a bull run. Um, James is going to the consensus, and I believe that is very soon, guys. Uh, I don't want to go through searching it at the moment, but I do believe it's this month. I think it's like something like the 20th, 23rd. Um, so you've got Natsurimju, which is Joel, and James, aka Metal, going to the consensus. And, you know, while they're there, they, they will be making contact with uh, like minded investors and stuff, um, promoting Axion as much as they can as well, which is fantastic. Yeah. Um, obviously, the Axion Alliance, uh, if you haven't seen that yet, I highly suggest watching the last video on that. That was really, really good uh, with Polydoge and Smart Finance and um, the Pi Network. Yeah. So, Pi Protocol, sorry. Pi Protocol. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'd highly suggest watching that. Axion price at the moment. Now, could we say this is a cup and handle? Well, it did come down very hard here. Yeah. But theoretically, yeah, I mean, everyone knows I love Axion anyway. I'm all good. What am I drawing there? But look, that is a sort of a cup and a handle, yeah? So this is what a cup and handle is in technical analysis, yeah? Obviously, we wick down more than, more than this. I understand that, yeah? But what is a cup and handle? So William O'Neill's cup and handle is a bullish continuation pattern that marks a consolida that consolidation period followed by a breakout. Yeah, there are two parts to this pattern, the cup and then the handle. The cup forms after uh, an advance, yeah, and looks like a bowl or a rounding at the bottom, yeah? So, theoretically, look, that is a cup, in my opinion. You just make your own mind up on that. So, point being is, I've always said, I like seeing Axion, and I, how can I get rid of that? Uh, delete that off, that's it, right. I like seeing Axion above the one zero. Yeah, so where are we? Da, 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 da. I like seeing us here, yeah, and staying above that because that, that's that's our bullish territory above the the quadruple one, right? So we could possibly, provided we don't get what I call bad actors out there, just keep bloody selling their their axion. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Yeah, let let the price go up. Yeah, and all do your part and we'll all be happy happy so there's no axiom friday today guys um james needs a much needed rest he's he's been doing so much behind the scenes andy as you know is um a, a parish uh, priest yeah so obviously it's easter so he's got a lot on his mind at the moment and a lot he's got to do and obviously with um uh, the loss of a um he's a family member um this is why andy is is, is he's been about but at this moment in time, got to give him a few more weeks to, to sort out what he's doing and stuff like that and all the rest of it. But all's well and good. Axiom Friday will be back next Friday. Um, I'm out myself today because uh, being Good Friday and where my wife is uh, from the Philippines, Catholic and stuff like that. So we'll be celebrating like that. I can only eat fish today. So um, that's, that's our sort of sacrifice, you might as well say. And that is it. So anyway, leave the video at that. As always, be lucky in crypto and peace out.